Hi, Karen from Vintage Dazzle here to show you the sales that I've made in the past 24 hours. Um, so I see there's no one here yet, so I'm not going to start yet, but, um, okay, hi. Hi, Jay Mastrangelo. Did I say that right? <laughs> hi, My Sale Rocks. Hi, The Stuffed Cat. Hi, it's so nice to see you here. Um, so, uh, I only had three sales over the last 24 hours, and I had none the day before, so the week's been a little bit slow, but, um, but that's okay. It's up and down, it's up and down. Uh, overall, I've been really, really pleased with my August and September sales. So, um, without further ado, I will show you the three items that I sold yesterday. And the first thing is this satin hanky case. It's got the little ribbons. You put your hankies in there and put it in a drawer. I was very tempted to keep this because I have started using handkerchiefs instead of um, tissue just uh, to be more ecological and because it's really kind of nice. I love collecting the old handkerchiefs. I have about 30, I guess, of the really neat old printed cotton handkerchiefs. So, um, but in the end, greed wins out and I sell. Uh, the next thing I sold was this snake bracelet, which um, I'm not sure I've posted it yet on YouTube, but I have a haul video very recently from buying this. I think I got this when I was in Iowa. But anyway, he's a snake bracelet and he's just real, he's real bendy and you can, you can do him like a necklace like that, or you can do it as an armband. I've seen and actually bought and sold a lot of these snake bracelets, but um, most of them have been mesh and like memory wire. This is the first one I've seen that does this. It's so cool. It's like a real snake. Uh, and he has black eyes. This is a um, blatant imitation of a famous Whiting and Davis uh, jewelry design that was done, I think, in the 70s. I've seen they, they were making them in Hong Kong, and um, I don't know. I, this one's not marked at all, but he's really cool, and I think I paid, I want to say $3 for it, and sold it for $24. So that's pretty good. And then the last item is this Hollywood Regency carved wood picture frame with a blank artist canvas. There's the back of the artist canvas. It is a Frederick's canvas panel. I believe this looks like it probably dates from the 1970s. It's made in Taiwan, so that, that's about right. And it's um, still in the package. I did take it out of the package to photograph it, but, um, you know, it is new. And um, that sold for $14.00 feel like I should have gotten more for that. It's really neat, but it's been hanging around a while, so I don't know that I could have gotten more than 14. But anyway, that is it for the sales. And what I did yesterday, since I had nothing to package and ship, was I've been ironing linens. My sister-in-law sent me a giant box full of vintage linens, but they all had to be washed, pressed, and photographed. And if you've ever dealt with vintage linens, that is so much work. And I've been tripping over this box for ages because I didn't want to have to deal with all that. But I figured uh, I might as well do it. So I spent like two hours yesterday ironing. And I'll show you briefly what I got. Um, the first thing was this huge linen tablecloth. It's just a plain linen cloth with a a drawn thread work border all the way around. Probably dates from the 1930s and it's in beautiful condition. It's really white. It um, has one or two specks on it but but nothing bad. And oh my gosh it's so hard to iron giant things. But anyway, uh, I got that. Um, these four Irish linen napkin elms. Is it four? One, two, three, seems to be five five Irish linen napkins. These are also in beautiful condition. They have 
drawn work border on them. Real pretty pattern. It's very, very hard to photograph Irish linen and make the pattern come out. I struggle and struggle with that. Then i um, got this little, uh, it's like a bridge cloth, a little uh, small square cloth with this beautiful, beautiful cross stitch on it. I'll show you more of what it looks like. I'm not going to undo the whole thing, but you can see there's a quarter of it. <laughs> And um, that's also beautiful condition, no issues. Uh, then, I got these six Irish linen napkins. Look at the beautiful rose on this. Hi, my cell rocks, thank you for the heart. Appreciate it. Um, this, these are also just in beautiful condition. Somebody, I think these probably all came from the same place, and somebody just really liked doing this drawn work border on everything. <laughs> so all of this has that border. And then, this is an, an Irish linen tablecloth with, if I can show it, really big one, and it's got um, Greek key border. Thank you, my sale rocks. My sales rocks. And then... I can show you the, it's got um, like a poinsettia there inside Greek key on the corners. And then the whole center is done in like a checkered pattern with poinsettias. I can show it. Oh, it's really hard to see. <laughs> yeah, you can see it a little bit there. Um, but th it, a really neat, unusual pattern. And it's older too. I think all these linens probably date from the 1930s. Uh, and then I also ironed a whole bunch of scarves. I showed these scarves in a haul video. I got these in Iowa. Oh, but I haven't posted that video yet, so nobody's seen them. Uh, these are a couple of Vera Newman floral scarves. Great, big, huge silk squares. Really nice, bright colors. This is another. Oh, you can tell I spent a lot of time um, ironing that one. <laughs> I think this one's already photographed. I just need to pack it back up. Um, and then, oh, I don't know where they went. There were also three orphan Irish linen napkins that didn't go to anything. So I'm not sure what to do with those. So, um, okay, that is it. Um, again, my three sales. Hanky cover that sold for, I already forgot. this sell for? I don't know. I forgot. Did I tell you? 18 maybe. Snake bracelet, $24. Frame, $14. Okay. That's it. Thank you. And um, I will be back hopefully tomorrow with more sales. I'll see you soon. Oh, and my shop is, well, it's in the title, but it's vintagedazzle.etsy.com. And um, I do have a channel on YouTube where I do my haul videos and that is under my name Karen Lebo. Uh, I can't put it in the description because you can't do that, can you? Oh well, anyway, um, the show is called Digging with Dirty Girl. Maybe you can find it that way. All right, thanks. See you soon. Bye. Swipe. Okay, swipe down to stop. There we go.